uh, we actually uh, look at the current trend. We're based on the now, the now moment. Okay, so the now moment, uh, basically we talk about uh, currently, this is good. This is the uptrend, like example, Singapore, uh, the REITs is good. Okay, so currently it's good. So it's still good. We continue to continue to hold uh, REITs. Okay, until one day when it starts to turn, when it starts to turn, okay, uh, turn down, then uh, that is the time to actually uh, get out. So what are the techniques? Okay, basically uh, we look at the, the price. If the price is moving on a new high, making a new high, uh, this is a good sign. Okay, when the price is making a new low, uh, that is a bad sign. So, so if if you have the positive sign, we we continue to stay positive. Okay, so that is the we call it a what's in motion stays in motion. That's the physics uh, rule number one, right? <laughs> okay. Well, we are speaking with Andy Yu, an award-winning stockbroker and licensed portfolio manager who is explaining how to use charts to spot trends and achieve consistent performance in the stock market. If you have any questions for him, you can WhatsApp us at 963119938 or you can call us at 6691198 and pose your questions to him directly. Well, Andy, in your book, you say you are not interested in a company's fundamentals. Why is that? Okay, the reason why uh, we do not put a fundamental as the first is big, like what I say, uh, because most of the time I, I observe uh, a lot of people, they get stuck with the stories. Okay, they get stuck with the story. So, uh, you know, uh, when it's time to buy, uh, they, they will say that, you know, uh, it's too high, the price is too high. You know, uh, they like the stock, but they want to wait for the price to drop. But when the price drop, okay, and the price start to crash, Okay, that is where they actually get in. And most of the time, especially in Singapore, when the price goes down, it doesn't come back up. Okay, so mm. many years ago, we have like, a, you know, like a, we, we see that uh, Sam Corp, Sam Marine, it was like four or five dollars and it go down and down and down. Until today, we're still not sure whether it will come back or not. Okay, so so you will see a good fundamentals company uh, eventually turn, you know, the price actually turn down. And most of the time, uh, for us, okay, as a trend follower, we will get out. Okay, when it is time, uh, times are bad, we get out. When times are good, we get back in. So uh, fundamentals will help you in picking stocks, okay. but it will also uh, stop you from getting out. <laughs> so, so that is the thing. Okay, the stories get stuck in your mind, and it's hard for you to cut loss. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's the problem. And erase that. Okay. So Andy, then based on your system, I'm going to ask you again: How do you know when to let go of a stock? Okay, so uh, so basically, uh, like uh, one of my chapter, uh, which the, is the best, uh, I mean, the, the my favorite chapter, okay, in the book, right, is uh, maintain your happiness. Okay, maintain your happiness. So in stock trading or in investment, uh, we have to, you know, in this journey, we have to be happy with what we are doing. So uh, the stock that is making you happy, most likely you are making money. Okay, if the if the stock is making you upset, making you feeling the, uh, you feel the pain. Of holding it, okay. When watching it going down, okay, eroding all your all your monies, okay. So, so that is uh, one of the sign, okay. Without technical analysis, okay, that's one of the sign <laughs> to tell you that uh, this is not the right one. Just get out, even if you've unfortunately lost a little bit of capital. Yes, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, in in the stock market, like what I say, we cannot win every time. What we can do is win big and lose small. So mm -hmm. try to make uh, our losses uh, as small as possible, and try to make our wins as big as possible. That that's the idea of the. Trading. But is there a particular threshold where, uh, I mean, you're looking at your money, you're losing money. At what point should you say, okay, it's time to to cash out now? Is is there a particular point? Okay, so for this, uh, everybody have their own threshold. So some some people have a very high tolerance. They can they can uh, hold for a very long time, and they, at the end they still uh, cut loss. Okay, but uh, what we what we try to do is less than uh, fifteen percent. That that's the the easier way to cut a loss, yeah. okay. But individual, some people say fifty percent is too much, so mm -hmm. they want to do it lesser. So, so it depends on your your own uh, like a threshold, okay. I like the happiness chapter because you know some people might just want to hold on to it for whatever it could be sentimental reasons, right? It could be that you know maybe it was passed on by family. Who knows that that particular stock, and they might not want to get rid of it straight away. Um, is diversification one of the uh, one of the rules when it comes to to choosing stocks? You know, as in diversifying across all industries. Okay, so uh, so again, like what I say, the the most important thing in the market is called the the trend. Mm. Okay, so what which are the sectors are on uptrend so in the if you can pick the right sectors okay most likely we can find a few stocks to pick 
And from there, if you want to put in uh, your fundamentals, if you want to put in your, your other reasons to, to get the stocks, that is, that is totally uh, fine. So, yeah. so most of the time, uh, we, we have to pick the, the right sectors that is on the uptrend. So what are the biggest mistakes that traders make, in your opinion? Okay, I think uh, the biggest mistake, uh, number one biggest mistake is, uh, like most people, they, they go for the, the hidden gem. Okay, <laughs> they like to, they, they always think that, you know, the, the good counters is always uh, hidden, you know, it's always like uh, out, uh, not easy to find. So they have to have a special skill to find undervalued stocks or stocks that haven't moved, the, the kind of things. Mm. So, but uh, like in one of my chapter is called uh, trend are obvious, <laughs> trend are obvious. So most of the time I realize people actually miss out the on the obvious trend. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, like Microsoft. Okay. Everybody is using a uh, PowerPoint, uh, Excel. Every day they are facing micros uh, like Microsoft products, but they didn't buy Microsoft. Like many years ago when Apple is like the top uh, phone. Okay, they miss out Apple stocks. Okay, and. And right, like uh, that REITs right now is the best, uh, like, you know, sectors, but most people, they, they try not to buy because they are, they are worried that they get in at the wrong price. Mm. Okay. Well, we've got a question from a listener who's just sent us the text and uh, he or she says, technically, the price of gold is on an upward trend, but recently it's moving sideways and then it can move up or down. How does technical analysis help us to determine which direction it will move from here? Okay, that's a that's an interesting million dollar okay, question. A million dollar <laughs> question. Okay, so again, uh, like uh, usually, uh, what in like again in in my book, uh, I also will, will talk about like this. Okay, so so like if you are not sure, okay, you observe again. Okay, so that that's the thing. Okay, so so in one of the technique that we actually use is called tell me more. Okay, so if you are not sure, you say tell me more. Okay, you wait another uh, two more days or two more weeks. Okay, the price will actually tell you. Okay, it will go up again, and <laughs> this is the trend. This is the trend. So, uh, what's the difference between uh, us is uh, and other uh, techniques is this, we are using a feedback loop. If you are an engineer, you understand okay, what is the feedback loop. Okay, so you you look at the things and they give you a result. Okay, so you get you get a feedback from the market. Mm. So what we do here very differently is we do we actually take out our opinion. We don't want to like say, hey, you know, your goal is the is the is the uh, uh, money that created by God, you know, <laughs> the kind of thing. Okay, we we don't want to say that uh, goal is the best or goal is the worst thing. Okay, so so uh, we we try to let the market tell us. Okay, so time will tell. Okay, yeah. so that's the thing. Time will tell. So you just have to tell the, ask, ask the market, tell me more, and the market will actually tell you. Some might feel that they've mm. missed the boat by then, though. Yeah. Okay. So the thing here is this: if you're not sure, you can. You can get in first, like get in a little bit first, okay? And the thing is, uh, we try to be flexible so we can buy a little bit and, and average upwards. When we make more money, we, we, we do it, uh, like we buy more, ac ac accumulate along the way. So we, we do not have to be exact price to get in and exact price to get out, okay? So that's one, one thing that people miss out on trend because trend, what we're looking at is a big trend, yeah. okay? It's a big trend. It's just like, like previously, the Bitcoin went from like, you know, like uh, uh, $300 to $20,000. Mm. Okay, like previously, gold, you know, uh, many years ago, it's just like also $300. And it went up to like, you know, a few thousand dollars. So if you are looking at the big trend, most of the time is you will not miss out the whole thing. Okay. okay? It's just Even that if it's a tail you, end. you don't want to get in sometimes. <laughs> okay. yeah. So. so Andy, just finally then, you've mentioned some very good tips here, but what other habits should we cultivate to become better traders ourselves? Okay, I think the uh, most important thing is to set the rules, okay, is to set the rules and uh, follow the rules. Lah, okay, so first of all, uh, we have to set the rules according to our our intention. Mm. Okay, so our intention. So if let's say uh, you, you are uh, uh, catching, you know, if you want to catch a trend, if you are wrong, what do you do? If you are right, what do you do? Okay, so, so basically we make it more like a system. So to achieve consistent uh, performance, we have to set rules Okay, and according to the rules, we have to practice. So if we are wrong with the rules, at least we can change it. And we can fine tune it. Okay, so that that will actually help uh, more help us uh, in the long run. Yeah, well, it's been such a pleasure speaking with you. We've been speaking with Andy Yu. He's an award-winning stockbroker and licensed portfolio manager, also the author of Win Big Lose Small, 10 Simple Keys to Spot Great Opportunities, Catch Those Biggest Trends, and Achieve Consistent Performance in the Stock Market. Andy, thank you so much. Thank you.
before making any decisions based on the information in our program. Please consult your own financial advisors to take into account your investment objectives, financial situation, and individual needs.